Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for August the 30th, read by Kirsty S. from the East Midlands in the United Kingdom. AA Thoughts for the Day Fear When, with God's help, we calmly accepted our lot, then we found we could live at peace with ourselves and show others who still suffered the same fears that they could get over them too. We found that freedom from fear was more important than freedom from want. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 122. Thought to Consider Courage is the willingness to accept fear and act anyway. Acronyms Fear Face Everything and recover. Just for today. Others. From. The Three Legacies of Alcoholics Anonymous. A group of laymen, whose combined religious training and experience had been small indeed and produced a volume which described release from alcoholism by spiritual means. What would our Catholic friends think? We had not the slightest inkling. Then the good news came. By messenger, We had sent the book Alcoholics Anonymous to the Catholic Committee on Publications in the New York Archdiocese. Our messenger was Morgan R., released only a few weeks before from Greystone Asylum and himself the first Catholic to put in an appearance in New York, AA. Not long after he returned with wonderful things to tell us. The committee, he said, had nothing but the best to say of our efforts. From their point of view, the book was perfectly all right. Alcoholics Anonymous Comes of Age, pages 168-169. Daily Reflections. The Early Requirement. At one time, every AA group had many membership rules. Everybody was scared witless that something or somebody would capsize the boat. The total list was a mile long. If all those rules had been in effect everywhere, nobody could have possibly joined AA at all. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, pages 139-140. I'm grateful that the third tradition only requires of me a desire to stop drinking. I had been breaking promises for years. In the fellowship, I didn't have to make promises. I didn't have to concentrate. It only required my attending one meeting, in a foggy condition, to know I was home. I didn't have to pledge undying love. Here, strangers hugged me. It gets better, they said, and one day at a time, you can do it. They were no longer strangers, but caring friends. I asked God to help me to reach out to people desiring sobriety, and to please keep me grateful. As Bill sees it, let go absolutely. After failure on my part to dry up any drunks, Dr Silkworth reminded me of Professor William James's observation that truly transforming spiritual experiences are nearly always rounded on calamity and collapse. Stop preaching at them, Dr Silkworth said, and give them the hard medical facts first. This may soften them up at depth so that they will be willing to do anything to get well. Then they may accept those spiritual ideas of yours, and even a higher power. We beg of you to be fearless and thorough from the very start. Some of us have tried to hold on to our old ideas and the result was nil, until we let go absolutely. AA Comes of Age, page 13. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 58. Big Book Quote I humbly offered myself to God, as I then understood him to do with me as he would. I placed myself unreservedly under his care and direction. I admitted for the first time that of myself I was nothing, that without him I was lost. I ruthlessly faced my sins and became willing to have my newfound friend take them away, root and branch. Alcoholics Anonymous, Bill's Story, page 13, 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. Practical experience shows that nothing will so much ensure immunity from drinking as extensive work with other alcoholics. Carry the message to other alcoholics. You can help when no one else can. You can secure their confidence when others failed. Life will take on a new meaning for you. To watch people recover, to see them help others in turn, to watch loneliness vanish, to see a fellowship grow about you, to have a host of friends, this is an experience you must not miss. Am I always ready and willing to help other alcoholics? Meditation for the day. One secret of abundant living is the art of giving. The paradox of life is that the more you give, the more you have. If you lose your life in the service of others, you will save it. 
You can give abundantly and so live abundantly. You are rich in one respect. You have a spirit that is inexhaustible. Let no mean or selfish thought keep you from sharing this spirit of love, of help, of understanding and of sympathy. Give and keep giving. Give your personal ease and comfort, your time, your money and most of all yourself and you will be living abundantly. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may live to give. I pray that I may learn the secret of abundant living. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. My name is Kirsty, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.